All right, we've made it to our final BotBots Series 6 review and maybe our last BotBots review in general, question mark. Um, I do not see it as being particularly likely that we'll ever get the, uh, the Series 6 one packs in brick and mortar retail just because it's been this long and they haven't been so far. Maybe we'll see them in like liquidation stores eventually, but uh, in lieu of that, I'm not going to pick up the, uh, the one packs just because online you have to order the full set and there's only like two or three of them left that I actually want. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not going to spend all the money just to do that. Um, but like I said, if I end up finding them in some store like Five Below a while from now, then I'll pick them up. But for the foreseeable future and, you know, maybe forever, this is our last Bot Bots review. And uh, yeah, kind of a weird one to end on. This is Vomit Comet from Series 6 from the Custodial Crew. And uh, yeah, this one turns into a pile of vomit. That's weird. This is a weird choice, uh, <laughs> but okay. Um, and uh, yeah, the, this is a character that did show up in the Bot Bot show. Of course, looked absolutely nothing like this figure, but yeah, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, Vomit Mode is is okay. It's got some really nice sculpted detail on there in terms of the little chunks and stuff, which is pretty gross. I don't really like the paintwork. Um, one, I, I kind of don't think it's really the right color. You'd think it should be more of like an olive green thing. I, like, I know Vomit can be whatever color, but just for a more sort of typical thing. And I don't like, and I didn't really think about this till just now, but I really don't like that they chose red as one of the colors here that's like picking out the details, because then it makes it seem like it might be like bloody vomit, which is even more gross. Um, so yeah, all, other than that, like it's got some nice sculpting, but I kind of don't really feel like it's like the right shape to be like a puddle of vomit, because it's kind of just like a big pile, which, uh, Oof, if your vomit looks like that, like, oof, you really need to go to a doctor or something, because that's, that's, uh, that's a pretty hefty pile there. It almost feels like maybe this was, like, originally designed to be, like, an anthill or, like, a, you know, high school project, like, volcano or something like that, um, because it doesn't really give the energy of, like, a pile of vomit. It just kind of looks like a little pile of dirt. Um, so maybe they were originally playing this mold to be something else, and then they switched it around so they'd have something else in the custodial crew. I think an anthill would have made a pretty decent amount of sense in the uh, in the pet mob there. But uh, yeah, this is the one that we got. Um, but yeah, so vomit mode, again, nice sculpted detail. Shape's not quite right for what it's trying to be. And I don't really like the paint work, but eh, whatever. Uh, in terms of transformation, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just untab the, uh, the top section here and just open it out to the side. It only opens up about that much. Uh, and then you just take the uh, the actual robot mode and just unfold it there at the waist. And then it does have little uh, little hands in there that you can kind of get your fingernails on and, and pry them out. And uh, yeah, there we have Vomit Comet in their robot mode. And uh, yeah, little weird little alien guy inside a pile of vomit. <laughs> it's a strange choice. Uh, I don't particularly like that it's like, you know, the robot mode, if we can even call it that, is kind of entirely within the alt mode rather than it actually being made out of it at all. Um, and even that, they don't really do particularly elegantly because the these things don't fold out anymore and they just kind of jut out from the front. It's kind of awkward. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I do really like the little alien guy in the middle there. Like, I think it's really cute. It's just, you know, kind of surrounded by a bunch of junk and that junk it just kind of is the alt mode, unfortunately. Um, in terms of articulation, uh, the little hands can hinge up and down, so you can get them about that far up or just sink them into the body. And then I guess if you want to count that as like a ab crunch, you could do that. Although you kind of have to have the feet sitting at a very specific angle so that it can even like stand because the feet are so tiny. Um, but it's not usually too difficult to do. Um, but yeah, so kind of a difficult one to score. Um, I'm kind of teetering between a two and a three in the uh, the robot mode because I do really like the little inner robot. I think it's cute uh, and it doesn't have like as many problems as some other Series 6 bot bots, but it is just kind of really inelegantly inside of this like, you know, <laughs> half-baked alt mode here. Um, so I, I think I still am going to give it a two. It's, you know, it's close, but yeah, this is not great compared to a lot of previous Series bot bots. And then alt mode... <sighs> again also kind of teetering between a two and a three just because like the shaping of it is kind of nice it just doesn't really totally look like the object it was supposed to be and the paintwork is just kind of not great either so 
yeah, probably also a two, unfortunately. Uh, the transformation is normal, average, so three out of five, which unfortunately is going to give Vomit Comet an ultimate score of seven out of 15, which makes them a one star bot bot. Um, so yeah, not great. I feel like, you know, I was expecting it to be a little bit higher, like a two star bot bot, just because compared to a lot of other bot bots in the eight packs, at least it's literally functional it's just the design of it is just not great so yeah i don't know i'm not not really in love with this one i think the little alien inside is cute and i like some of the sculpting on the uh, the pile of vomit i just don't think it totally works as what it's trying to be unfortunately um but yeah if you want to pick up vomit comet uh, they're available in one of the two custodial crew eight packs or also the blind pack one packs but you know good luck finding those on their own uh, without ordering the full set online. Um, but yeah, kind of a weird note to uh, to end out our Bot Bots reviews on. I think I'm probably going to try to do some sort of like full Series 6 retrospective kind of overlook kind of video just as a, a last hurrah. But in terms of the individual reviews, that is quite likely to be the last one we get. So uh, thank you if you've been watching my Bot Bots reviews throughout the year. That's kind of the thing that, you know, got my channel sort of any traction at all. <laughs> So, you know, I've gotten more comfortable reviewing lots of other things, and I probably enjoy those reviews a little bit more now myself. But, uh, you know, bot bots were kind of like the one thing that I was doing that not a lot of other people were doing for a while, at least in terms of looking at them individually. So it's a, if you've been watching this whole time, thank you very much. Sorry that this is kind of a, a weird one to end on. But with the Series 6 8 packs being the way that they were it was quite likely that we were going to end on somewhat of a sour note. So <laughs> uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have BotBots Series 6 Vomit Comet.